of a day everyone so for today i will be showing you how to use or connect your fujifilm instax mini link printer to your phone the instax mini link printer does come in three main colors which are dark denim ash white and dusky pink however when i finally decided to purchase it i went on amazon and came across their limited edition color which is the beige gold color this one so there are basically just three main steps for you to follow in order for you to properly connect your mini link printer to your phone. So first step is to get this USB cable and get your power adapter to fully charge this printer. That's the very, very first main step. You cannot forget that step because that's where everyone messes up. Okay, so second, let's pretend that this has been fully charged already. Okay, so let me put this on the side. Then let me put my phone on the side as well so I can properly show you. So you have to turn this printer around and you can see this big door over here. And then there's a small button that you have to push to your right and it'll open this way. This is where you put the instant fill. Okay, that will be your second step. So let me just open the box and get one of the films so we can get started. Okay, since we grabbed one already, as you can see here, it does show like uh, some kind of um, instruction here before using. And then it also shows you pictures of how to open it and then insert it on the printer. So let's it open here okay be careful not to press onto these because you might break it so let's put it there first and then you grab your printer and just push onto the right and it should open this way so if you can see here there's this yellow like tape it's really tiny right here when you insert it you're gonna make sure that you insert it this way like this yellow tape up here is gonna align to that yellow tiny tape up there then once you close this it should print out the cover let me show you that this is the cover that's gonna come out once I insert this film inside the printer. Once I close it, this cover is going to come out from here. So let me insert it. See, this will only happen if you do the first step, which is charging this fully. So now we're done with the second step, inserting the film. Third is, you grab your phone, whether it's going to be an iPhone or an Android, and go to your App Store or Google Play and download the Mini Link app. So let me just set that for you. So it's called Instax Mini Link. That's the one. So here there's a cloud here already because I did download this about a week ago. But let me just show you. So this is your third and last step. So let's just wait for it to download. Once you open the app, the first thing you'll see is the Bluetooth settings window. So just power on the printer for now. As you can see, there's different lights showing on the printer. That means it's trying to connect to the app. And if you turn to the screen on my phone, it's showing the device number, which you can find at the bottom of the printer right there. So just click connect. You know once it's connected, because the white light is going to be showing on the printer, and the device number will be showing on the gray space on the screen. So I normally just click on simple print, go to my albums and my favorites, then select a photo. So what I just selected is a picture of me and this black cat that we feed every day. You may also add text on your picture or you can rotate it or zoom. You may also make use of the different filters offered at the bottom. 
And lastly, you can also make use of the correction button on the bottom right, which is um, changing the brightness, contrast, saturation. I don't really use any of those and I just print my picture as is. Once you're ready to print your picture, just click onto the round red button and it should show the word transferring on the screen as it prints your picture. And then it'll be like pulling up like that on the screen and it should come out of the printer. So it's blank right now. So you know what we normally do when we have the Insta camera? Because I used to do that too when my cousins would take our pictures. I would do this. <laughs> but I, I came across a video on YouTube where they said you don't need to do that. It's unnecessary. Because we all thought that that helps the ink dry faster, right? But that's not the case. It's actually very unnecessary to do this. Just leave it there. And it'll show up after like 30 seconds or after a minute. It takes a while. Oh, and let me show you what happens when you have a longer picture such as this one. So the app will automatically change the orientation of your picture into a landscape just so it can fit in the whole screen. But you have the option to uh, rotate your picture or zoom in into a specific person's face. But I don't really like that. I want the whole picture to be in the frame. So what I'm going to do is just put it back to the original. So I'm just showing you guys options of what you can do if you still want the regular portrait mode. And you can utilize those editing tools at the bottom if you'd like. But let me go ahead and show you a printed version of that. So this is basically the finished quality. It's not like 100% more like I think this is this get past as like a 80. That's a pretty good like rate for this quality. Actually, it's a $130 printer, but it can give you 80% quality of your original picture. And sometimes it really depends on your picture. It can even give you about like almost 90 percent like this one almost the quality is there it's just that it's overly bright but it's good enough i really hope that you guys learned something from this and if you enjoyed it please like share if you like subscribe and click the notification bell to get updated every time i upload new videos and I'll see you guys on my next unboxing, review, hiking, or travel video. Thank you!